Hi, and welcome to another Apple Champ tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be covering the mail application. I'll begin by discussing how to add your first email account, and then we'll cover the user interface, and then we'll talk about managing multiple accounts, and then we'll discuss organizing mail, and then using flags, and then the new conversations mode in Mail 5. Then we'll talk about stationary. Then we'll talk about the search bar. And then lastly, we'll cover some tips and tricks. Before we begin the tutorial discussing Mail 5, I'd just like to go over creating a new email account for the first time users out there who have never used Mail before. When you open Mail for the first time, it asks you to add an email account. And if you don't do this, you won't have access to mail. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do this. It's really easy, really straightforward. And then we'll move on to actual mail and how it works. So basically, full name, you just specify how you want that to be, how you want other people to see you. You can put your nickname in there, your full name, it's your preference. And then you want to type in your email address. And I've created an email address just for this tutorial. AppleChampTutorials at gmail.com. If any of you out there see this, don't use that email address because I won't be using it in future. It's just a it's just an example email address for this tutorial. If you need to get in touch with me, please use the contact form on the website. And then put in the password that you used when you signed up for your account. And click create. And basically, mail will go through it all for you, detect the settings. Most popular email providers such as Gmail and iCloud, all of those things, mail will pick up the settings default. You won't have to do it yourself. And you can choose if you want to access calendars and chat as well. I don't want that for now. And then just click Create. And then mail will open up. And it will start adding your mailboxes from your email account. So while that's busy, let's start by discussing the user interface of Mail 5. Now Mail 5 has been changed quite a lot since the previous version. With the release of Mac OS X Lion, they've pretty much changed it to try and match the look of Mail in iOS, the operating system for the iPhone and the iPad and the iPod Touch. So I'm not going to cover previous versions interface. If there are people out there who have used the previous version of Mail, and prefer the the previous look not the new look there is a way to go back to the old look from the mail preferences I'll cover that a little bit later but for now I want to discuss the new user interface from mail 5 as with most Apple applications we have the toolbar at the top by default we have get new message compose new message compose new note and as you see, there's tooltips that come up to explain what they do. I'm just going to go through it quickly. Then we have delete selected messages. We have mark selected messages as junk. Reply to the sender of the selected message. Reply to all recipients. Forward the selected messages. Show related messages of the selected email. And then there's the new function to flag messages. A new feature in Mail 5 is this new favorites bar which is really quite handy. You'll see that by default, your mailbox column is hidden. So if your mailbox column is hidden and you prefer to work with it hidden to maximize your space, you can still access items that you add to your favorites bar. And to add items to your favorite bar, it's pretty simple. I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger. You can just drag any mailbox you have to your favorites bar and be able to access it and any folders within it. So if I want to access my Gmail and all the folders within it, I can just drag Gmail to the favorites bar and let go. And there's the new Gmail folder with all the mails within it available to me. If I want to access just, let's say, personal mails in my Gmail folder, I can drag that up there. And then when I select it, it'll jump straight to the personal mail mailbox. So I can hide that and pretty much work without the mailbox column shown and jump between 
all my favorites quite easily. It's a really handy tool and I'm a big fan of it. I use it a lot. Now I'm just going to click show to show my mailbox column. With all columns visible, we have three columns in mail. And starting from the left, we have basically what looks similar to a standard sidebar. And that just shows all the mailboxes that we have available to us. Mailboxes linked from all our different email accounts. You can have multiple email accounts connected to mail and it will show you all the different mailboxes for those. We then have the next column, which is in the middle, and this will show you any emails available within the mailbox you have selected. So in my inbox, I have the three emails that I have in my Gmail account. Sent mails, I have none. So it's just showing me all the emails I have in the selected mailbox. And in the right hand column, the big column, will show me the content of the email that I have selected. We also have a small box in the bottom left hand corner showing current email activity, such as our progress when sending or receiving mails. You'll see some bars sort of progressing, sending mails, incoming mails, basically just showing you what's happening. We have a little plus icon in the bottom left hand corner, which we can use to add a new mailbox or a new smart mailbox. We can minimize or maximize the mail activity box. And then we also just have some settings for mailboxes. Many people these days have multiple email accounts that they, they use for different reasons. Perhaps one for business, one for personal, or perhaps a family email account and a personal email account. Mail can handle multiple email accounts really well. So to add a new email account, currently I just have one email account connected. You can go to Mail Preferences and the second tab Accounts. So what we see here is by default it's the first email account that I added when I first opened Mail. But now I want to add a second one. So I'm going to add the AppleChamp at me email account. And you'll see it's getting all the settings by default. I'll just switch those off. I'll click create. And there you go. You'll see it adds the, the new email account. And when I close my system settings, you'll see now that I have two email accounts in my mail application. Under inbox, I have my Gmail inbox. I have my iCloud inbox. And under mail activity, you just briefly saw there, it was busy synchronizing the new email account. And now we have some additional folders linked to my applechamp.me email account. So it's that easy to add new email accounts to your mail app. And managing between them is really easy. You can view all emails and all your inboxes combined, or you can just view the individual email accounts as you need. You can also from your favorites bar access the individual email accounts by clicking on the little arrow the little down arrow next to the label. So if I select inbox, it shows me the unified inbox, but if I select the arrow, I can choose the individual inbox. As your emails start coming in, over time you will benefit greatly by creating subfolders to sort your emails. This is especially important for people running businesses. To create a new mailbox, you can simply click the small little plus icon in the bottom left hand corner of mail. Once you do that, you can just choose which email account you, need, you want to create the new subfolder for. So Gmail, let's just assume Gmail is my personal account or iCloud is my business account. So if I wanted to create a new folder for my business account, I could select that. And perhaps I want to create a new folder for invoices. I can just type invoices, click OK. And now we have a new folder under my iCloud account for invoices. And these folders, if you're using IMAP accounts, which most email clients are, they'll be synchronized across all your mail applications. So once you create a folder in mail on your Mac, it'll automatically add it to your iPhone or your iPad or any other device that you have the same email account on.